This is Caleb Jones, you're watching Average Joe Sport Talk. I'm Caleb Jones, go to Collins High School and I play quarterback. Hi right, Caleb, you're a multi-sport athlete up here. Um, very highly looked at in the community here in Collinsville um, amongst your peers and obviously kids younger than you. What's that feel like to be a role model here in here in, here in Collinsville, Alabama? You know, it's, it's pretty cool how you walk in the hallway and you got, you know, a certain type of shoes on and you see these little kids walk by, just kindergarten, first grade, and then the next week you see them, the next day you see them, they might have your shoes on. Like, <laughs> it's pretty crazy how you can impact your community and school just by playing a sport. That's awesome. Now, you do play three different sports, is that correct? Yes, you sir. run track as well? No, sir. We don't got track. You know, I probably would if we did. <laughs> uh, which one of the three is your favorite and why? I'd say football because it's more like it's, it's tough. It's not easy. You can't go, you just can't go by without having something difficult it teaches you more about life. Right. Um, now your grandfather is the principal here at Collinsville, correct? Yes sir, he is. And he was a very talented player himself back in the day. Uh, what's it been like growing up around your grandfather and the impact he's had on you in your life? You know, he's basically like my father figure. He's basically, I grew up with him. He taught me everything. He taught me everything I know about sports too. So I've heard he's, I heard he is good. I, I watched some film on him, but you weren't impressed. <laughs> I mean, he, was, he was pretty good. I mean, he was pretty good. Uh, but he had, he's impacted me a lot. He's taught me, taught me everything. Just trying to be a good kid and always keep God first and everything. That's very good, man. Um, your grandfather, grandfather, and your mother both told me you was a, a heck of a hunter. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's your favorite yeah. uh, game to hunt? Uh, I don't know. I got into turkey hunting a couple, couple years ago. I'd say probably turkey hunting. But I can't live without my deer hunting. Though. Uh, what's the biggest buck you ever killed? A nine. Nine 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 what about one. the biggest turkey you ever got? Oof. I ain't never killed a double beard. I've killed I've killed some of like 10, 11 inch beards and half an inch, three fourths inch spurs, stuff like that. I've also heard you don't use artificial collars. You uh, actually can I do, do it yourself. Yeah, I do. I can we get you to do that on film right now or no? I got you. Uh, it might take a Man, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Man, that's awesome, man. Um, now, 
looking back on your career here at Collinsville so far, because I know you're going to have a lot more highlights coming up your senior year, what's been your favorite memory thus far? I mean, it could be a play, it could be a win, whatever it is. Mm. Favorite memory is probably, I'd say, our game at North Sand Mountain last year. Because we, we didn't get no calls. We just, it was a battle the whole game. We had stuff that didn't go our way, and we ended up coming out with the win in overtime. It was pretty crazy. Jason Perez had the winning kick in overtime to put us ahead, and that kind of just got a momentum going for the rest of the season. Awesome, my man. Um, what would you like to tell the underclassmen, uh, guys who's coming up behind you here at school, some words of wisdom, so to speak, for them and their career? Uh, I'd have to say just don't listen to the haters. Everybody, it's, you're going to have people that just dog you and stuff. Because like, I remember when I was like first and seventh, like when I was first coming up seventh grade, the seniors we had and I, like all that stuff, we just, everybody's going, you're going to have one person, if not multiple, that just dog you, try to put you down and stuff. Just, just don't ever listen to it. Um, how's your recruiting been coming along um, so far? I know several schools are interested. Yes, sir. It, it kind of it spiked real quick. I'd say probably the beginning of my senior summer, late junior year, probably. It, it, it's, a lot of coaches got interested, and I was like, I was pretty shocked about it. It's pretty crazy. Um, obviously, the talent's there, um, but being recruited by Navy specifically, they don't just hand out the scholarships there. They're a character school. Um, that says testament to you and how you were raised and how you act. Um, what does that mean to you personally to be recruited by the Naval Academy? Uh, being recruited by Naval Academy, it's pretty. When Coach Newberry came down and talked to us, uh, we I just got done doing some extra stuff on the field and came up, and he said, I'm a, "I want to offer you a scholarship," and I was like, "Whoa!" I just yeah. wasn't expecting it at all, and <laughs> I got in and I looked at it and I went up there and visited two weeks ago, I think, and it's just crazy how. You got all the old. Different world. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a completely different world. It's absolutely amazing up there. Um, you're also very active in church, correct? Yes, sir. Very. Talk about what God's meant to your life and your career and just your well-being in general. Uh, really and truly, he's, I try, I pray every night. I talk about my future and how to try to lead me down the right path, not get into the drugs, alcohol, and all that stuff, to try to stay, keep my body the best I can to keep the right future and mindset. And he, I got saved when I was seven, and ever since then it's been, every, I try to every Wednesday, every Sunday I'm in church, or trying to do some type of community service with our church and stuff. We sing all the time and everything. So he's, surely he's, he's shaped my life, though, how I, and maybe become the man I am today. Man, personally, man, just from how this interview is going so far, you seem like a leader on and off the field, man. Congratulations on that, man. Yes, sir. Uplifting people. That's awesome, man. That's what it's all about. Um, now, when you're completely away from the game, you're not playing sports, you're not at practice, what's your getaway, man? What's your favorite hobby? Favorite hobby? I honestly probably say hunting and fishing, but, I mean, I play golf. I do all the ping pong. I do all that stuff. But... Whenever I'm in the woods or I'm out in a boat by myself, that's my getaway time. That's when I can see God's creation, what he's put in this world for us to enjoy and just have fun while we do it. That's awesome, man. Some of the best answers I've ever heard so far, man. Um, um, do you love the wins more or do you hate the losses more? I hate to lose. I hate, <laughs> if we if we get beat, I, I can't even get my girlfriend to talk to me. I'm so mad. <laughs> um, What's playing in your headphones right before you walk out of the tunnel to get ready to warm up? I'd say, honestly, probably post on congratulations. Are you more of a uh, relaxed type guy, even Keo, or do you get fired up? I, the game? I don't. I show, try to show no emotion. I'm just straight, straight faced. I don't. I let all my other good old players and all that stuff get real hot, and I just try to. I stay as calm as possible. Perfect. Um, what's it like playing for Coach Willingham? He's a pretty fiery guy. Oh, I've yeah. learned that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coach Willingham, he's something, he's something else. He's yeah, he's always motivating, always motivating somebody. He's oh, he's always hot. I don't know how he does it, <laughs> with his age and everything, but he is, I swear, he has got so much, so much energy. And it's crazy. It's awesome playing for him. 
you and anybody, if anybody came, played, they'd love him, love him to do. <laughs> yeah, he just, I've talked to him several times, and every time I get around him, I get fired up. Oh, yeah, awesome. We're going to do some rapid fires here, so you just give me whichever one of these two. I'm going to give you two things, and you choose from the two of them. Okay. Whichever one comes to mind first. Coke or Pepsi? Mm, I'd say Coke. Nike or Under Armour? Nike. Avengers or Justice League? Oof. I get Avengers. <laughs> Chevy or Ford? Chevy. Muhammad Ali or Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson. Jordan or LeBron? Jordan. All right. LeBron or Kobe? <laughs> I go LeBron on that one. Comedy movies or horror movies? Comedy. I, I hate scary movies. <laughs> uh, Christmas or Thanksgiving? Christmas. All right. I'm going to ask you a couple things about your favorite sports here. Who's your favorite baseball player ever? Derek Jeter. That's a very good one. Favorite basketball player ever? Michael Jordan. Favorite football player ever? i say Russell. Russell, Russell Wilson? Wilson? Yes, sir, Russell Wilson. Um, what's the last TV show you binged watched? Maybe Netflix or cable or whatever? Uh, All American. I was, that show is awesome. I love um, that show. So years from now, let's say 20, 30, 40 years from now, when we look back kind of like what we're going to do tonight at Collinsville um, and we reflect on your career here at Collinsville, what do you hope people say about your career here and what you've meant to Collinsville football? I just hope I leave, I leave a mark for people to look up to. to I, just, I don't like having to hold a grudge. I don't want anybody to... Think of me as the cocky kid, the kid that's always edgy or anything like that. I want to be remembered as a godly kid that can anybody can go to, talk to, to do anything with. Um, also, let me ask you one last question. Um, I want a personal goal of yours this year and a team goal. It's something that you're going to hold everybody else accountable for. Personal goal. Uh, my personal goal would probably be I want I want to beat my cousin's passing record at Collinsville <laughs> High School. My he's always always jawing with me about it, and I told him I'm telling him I'm on video this year. So that's my, that's my personal goal, and then to try to be the best player I can be as of that, and as a team goal to compete. Don't don't we don't need to we don't need anybody just down on ourselves or anything. We got to compete to the highest level possible. Because we have a chance to be really good, and I want to play 15 weeks. I love it. Thank you so much, my man. Yes, sir. Thank you.